tell nobody my right name. I ain't gonna tell nobody my right name. My name is Sam. My name is Sam. My name is Sam. And I don't give a Here's the story of Samuel Dombe, a man like any other at the end of a long day. Guts and muscles and maybe a little more. He worked as a grave digger after the Civil War. Miles around competition burned with the deepest rage. The work was hard and Sam did it for the cheapest wage. Seems that the other man's shoes didn't fit him. When he was out working, the others were out to get him. They called him Indestructible Sam. He promised he would die with a shovel in his hands. That's right, they called him Indestructible Sam. He promised he would die with a shovel in his hands. Digging all day, Sam's pockets got richer. But the others were wishing he was out of the picture. So late one night, some of the competition went to see Dr. Beauregard, a local magician. They asked if he could help put things in reverse. They pulled all their money for a $50 curse. Next morning at work was a commotion. Digging a grave, Sam heard an explosion, followed by a moaning, cursing and mumbling from the nearby bushes. A figure came stumbling. Sam shrugged his shoulders and surveyed the damages. Later, Dr. Beauregard was seen wearing bandages. Worse for wear, he wasn't taking suggestions. Said he'd hex anyone that asked him any questions. The coast wasn't clear. Trouble kept lurking, the others kept scheming. It's Sam kept working. They called him Indestructible Sam. He promised he would die with a shovel in his hands. That's right, they called him Indestructible Sam. He promised he would die with a shovel in his hand. The other grave diggers lamented their blown chance, decided to take matters into their own hands. Thoughts full of poison and making a trap. They blew up the shed where Sam was taking a nap. The others were astonished and totally annoyed. Cause Sam walked away, though the shed was destroyed. Next they tied him up and they were sure that they got him when they threw him in a lake and watched him sink to the bottom. But lo and behold, and to the others' dismay, Sam was back at work again the very next day. They burned his house down to the ground they were possessed. And when that didn't work, they finally shot him in the chest. So hold your head low and fly the flag half mast. But it was actually Samuel that had the last laugh. He recovered again, Lord be praised. He lived to be a hundred and dug the others' graves. They called him indestructible Sam. He promised he would die with a shovel. In his hands, that's right, they called him indestructible Sam. He promised he would die with a shovel in his hands, and he did. They called him indestructible Sam. He promised he would die with a shovel in his hands, that's right. They called him indestructible Sam, and he died with a shovel in his hand. <laughs>